Hippowdon's a really bulky Pokemon with Sandstream. With his main ability being Sandstream and his hidden ability is Sand Force. Sandstream's a really good ability. And that's the reason why only a few Pokemon have Sandstream, Drought, and all the abilities like that. And Drizzle, I forgot what the other one was called. But Hippowdon's really bulky too with 108 health, 118 defense, and 72 special defense. Which is high enough to where he can be bulky. But he also has 112 attack, which is good. 68 special attack and six and 47 speed, which they're useless at that point. He's so slow, like it doesn't matter. He's not gonna be a special attacker and he's slow, but he's bulky, so it makes up for it. And he's pure ground, which is really good typing. You're only weak to water, grass, and ice. It sucks though, because they're mostly uh special. He's immune to electric and he's resistant to poison rock. Being a pure typing is pretty good for being a tank. So it's pretty good. Neutral to everything else, but one way to run him is just curse slack off and you're just going to try to get as tanky as possible curse raises attack and defense it lowers your speed but it doesn't matter because he's slow anyway slack off recovers half of your health and it has 16 pp which is pretty good plus body press is going to do a lot of damage and earthquake body press is really body press does, is based off your defense versus your attack and his defense is actually higher than his attack and since curse raises both it won't be that much of a difference but body press will do more damage than pretty much any other move because it's using a higher attack stat but the last spot could be earthquake i don't know it just depends on what you want with these last, with these two spots you can get rid of body press for something like rock slide or whatever rock slide stone edge could run crunch fire fang, just whatever you want in the last spot i would run something that can deal with flying types or levitate so like ice fang rock slide something like that would be good the only reason i wouldn't run stone edge because you risk the chance of it missing but especially because you're raising your stats anyway. But something to deal with flying types, Corviknight, for example, stuff like that would be the biggest weakness. Plus you have sand stream, so sashes, and plus you'll chip them down while you're setting up. Uh, sashes aren't a problem. Something can't come in with a sash and throw you off because of sandstorm. Uh, here's another one, a tanky one. You could also run toxic in that one last spot. You could run like toxic earthquake. Well, Toxic Earthquake runs in the risk of like Skarmir or Corviknight coming in and just canceling it. But you can run Toxic too. For either of these tank sets, run Toxic. But here's another one which is Yawn Stock. The plan is the Yawn Stockpile. And pretty much you yawn, they hit you. Then they either have to switch or hit you again and you can just stockpile it up. And once you get to like two or three stockpiles, you can rest. You can also run Slack Off, but this one runs into the same issue of if they Toxic you, with this one especially, if they Toxic you, you're just in trouble. And you'll just slowly get ticked down. There's nothing you can do about it. So I like rest on this one. Stockpile maxes out at 3. But since it uses defense. Instead of your attack. It's going to do a lot. I would run special defense nature. I think on both. Just to eat, make them a little closer. Especially on this one. Because stockpile raises both stats. So you'll raise them both. You can run defense if you want to do more damage with body press. But this one runs into the issue of. This one runs into the issue of definitely stock or definitely body press too because you're not raising your attack only defenses. But this one runs into the issue of a ghost type coming in and just taking you out. You could also run toxic instead of yawn if you just want to do damage to them and then set up. You could also run chesto resto probably. You could run chesto resto just depending on what you want. If you want the quick wake up from the first rest. Mm, depends on many stockpiles. You could run chesto resto with this. Probably be better honestly. To do chest arresto with this so you can get the full stockpiles quickly mm, another way to run it is stealth rocks there's a double set which is stealth rocks slack off pretty much you can replace stealth rocks you can um you can replace stealth rocks whatever but rock slide high horsepower earthquake just depending on the person you're with because maybe you're using a sand force like excav or excadrill or someone else to take advantage of the sand so you might not want to run Earthquake, but you could run High Horsepower. You could always run Protect in this spot instead of Stealth Rocks. But Crunch, you could just run another offensive move. I wouldn't really run Setup because it's doubles. You could run Roar too if you want to get something out. Um, Toxic maybe. Toxic would be really good here to try to poison something. But here's another one. Just if you just want to run just bulky bulky physical attacker just citrus berry and just all all offensive moves you could also run assault vest if you want some more special tanky some more special bulk you could run but pretty much 
iron earthquake earthquakes your main stab iron head for fairies stone for stone for flying types again you could run rock slide depending on if you want to deal with the accur accuracy game and then crunch is just a nice move could also run i think there's one more move you could run one of the fangs too he learns all the he learns the fire and ice fangs so you could run, run one of those if you were worried about fair thorn or something like that you just want the damage but he doesn't learn very much coverage honestly he learns these moves and the fangs pretty much and like body parts that's it but also rocky helmet if you want to run just a full defensive one not with these moves of course but like a full defensive hip how down with maybe stockpile or probably curse curse is a better move for this but just full defensive curse slack off and then two offensive moves would be really good body press and something else probably because your special your defense will be so much higher than your attack at that point but because rocket helmet's really good you'll pretty much take everything out in a turn plus with the sandstorm and the if they make contact but toxic move he learns amnesia but you run into four you run out of moves quickly if you run amnesia because it's like okay a healing move amnesia then you either run curse or you run curse and then you're stuck with one move earthquake gets countered by flying and levitates body press gets countered by ghost you'd have to run like crunch or something which is not you have to run crunch or something which isn't great but he also learns heavy slam i don't like these moves just because 90 percent of the time iron head's gonna do way more dam it's gonna do more damage than heavy slam unless you're against like a mimic you or something something really light iron head's gonna do more damage but if you want to run a Dynamax tip out on, I would run Citrus Berry and then just... Also, you can run Fissure. Fissure is another move. If you just want to throw in another move onto a moveset, throw in Fissure. It's not going to hurt. Especially if you know you can't one-shot them or you really need a KO or, or you're in trouble. Fissure could win you a match, pretty much. But if Dynamax one, I would run Super Power, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Iron Tail. It's as simple as that. I would just run these four with a Citrus Berry so you survive an extra hit but that's how you use hip out on he's really tanky i actually like hip out on but he's that's how you use him he's really tanky hope you enjoy it